Welcome back to my channel. I've not been sailing since my last attempt trying to reach Greenland in September last year 2021. After that it's been four months of editing behind the desk. But now I'm free to start sailing again and to test the boat to see that everything works for my upcoming adventures this year. The best way to put it to the test is to head offshore, so I thought I would bring you along to visit the small island of Utsira, the smallest registered community in Norway, about two hours southwest of my hometown of Haugesund. The ocean in between is fared with a lot of currents and wild waves, so let's head out and have a look. I was nervous as I dressed up in my foul weather gear. The current weather reports said it was blowing well over 30 knots from northwest, pushing four or five meter waves onto my beam heading for Utsira. A big storm had recently ravaged our coastline, with the winds up to hurricane force at 90 knots, sending huge waves from the North Sea to crash violently into our coastline. This is a spectacular view, attracting a lot of people spectating this phenomenon. Being apart from sailing this long had made me somewhat rusty. Offshore solo sailing demands constant training to stay on top of the game. If not, I get nervous and scared, especially with reports like this. It feels a bit like starting all over again, as I forget the limitations of the boat, how much sails to put up in what winds and directions to remember what all the lines are for, and so on. It's only one way to get rid of the much annoying fear. To head out when you really don't want to. At first, I was wondering how much sails to put up, whether to make it easy and roll out some of the furler, or hoist the 19 square meter cutter stayed jib sail. If I needed to reef it, that would be a big job in these waves. To learn the limitations again, I went for the jib sail to see how the boats behaved. Leaving, uh, leaving shore behind me, Haugesund behind me, and uh, last uh, scaries of uh, Vöra, and then it's out in the open uh, ocean towards Utsira. It's, it's a pretty, pretty nice winds, 20 to 25 knots maybe in the, in the gusts, and uh, we're doing seven knots, running the three reefs in the mainsail and uh, and the uh, inner forestay. Uh, the, the, the jib sail on the inner force day. So it's all good. There's going to be some waves now uh, when we leave shore and I uh, can't, can't wait. It was reported of five meters but the wind has come down pretty much now so I don't think it's going to be that that bad with waves but uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Before we plow into the big waves uh, have a look at my uh, my sponsor NordVPN and have a look at what that is. It's uh, it's awesome. I'll see you in a minute. 
Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring my videos. NordVPN is an online service providing security for your internet connection through letting you choose from 5,800 servers in 60 different countries. It not only hides your IP address for secure browsing, it also lets you get access to your favorite content wherever you are by easily changing your virtual location, providing the best speed on the market. I just got a 4G router installed in my boat and with modern high-speed 4G antennas placed all around our coastlines, internet signals goes way offshore today, letting you enjoy the advantages of having access to online services safely using NordVPN. So stay safe offshore and stay safe online. Go to nordvpn.com slash Erik to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. I was hoping for slightly more wind. It was reported up to up to 40 knots, 35, 40 knots, but uh, it came down a little bit earlier than, uh, than the weather reports said. So I'm left with some big, heavy swells and uh, 17, 18 knots of wind. But we're doing good, six, seven knots. And uh, here you can see Uchto, the islands of Uchto. Uh, we are passing them on our way to uh, to Utsira and. Uh, that's a remarkable little place. Uchtog lies halfway between Haugesund and Utsira. It served as a meeting point for fishermen during the 1800s. Smaller boats fishing for herring came into Uchtog to transfer their catch over to bigger boats, which took the precious catch safely back to Haugesund for further sail. Back in time, the oceans outside Haugesund were boiling with herring, and the fishermen sacrificed everything and did whatever it took to earn another dollar making a living for another day, to be able to feed their families. Well, times have changed today. Yeah, nice little place, nice little island. Oops. Big swells here. Uh, the wind has uh, degrees to 16, 17 knots, so I think it's time to roll out a little bit of the, of the Genoa to help help out to get some speed. We're doing about uh, five plus knots, but that's not too much. Let's see what that does. left now so we're getting there nice ride some more speed with uh, with uh, further sail out and uh, yeah things are looking good but it's really cold it's three degrees celsius and my hands are really co cold and i forgot to bring my gloves of course so yeah all right
When you close upon Utsira, the first conspicuous sight is the two windmills placed on the east side of the island. They are sufficient enough to provide the whole society with power. As it's windy most of the year out here, they are on the perfect spot. Utsira is the smallest registered community in Norway, lying 15 nautical miles offshore. It's a very windy and isolated place to be, still the population is about 200. The island is divided into two harbors. Sørevågen or the South Vo on the south side and Norvogen, the North Vo on the north side. This makes it possible for the local ferry to choose what harbour to use in relation to the wind direction and swells. Alright, so that's Utsira behind me. I'm there. It was a nice test of the boat just to see that everything works and uh, it, it does. So far so good. So now I'm just gonna find my way into the into the shoals here and uh, tie up at uh, Sør Vågen on, uh, on Utsira. It's going to be nice. And I'm going to go to the store and uh, have a couple of beers, I guess. And just uh, take it easy. All right, let's go. us at Utsira let's do my favorite thing stop the engine there we go beautiful place to be it's uh, January midwinter it's ice freezing cold but it's so refreshing to be out in the nature and just have a day alone completely alone in a place like this so now I'm just gonna go to, to the local store and uh, buy some food and some beers and uh, relax and enjoy the little moment and then I'm on my way uh, back tomorrow again, tomorrow morning. Right, see you.
Good morning. It's time to go back. Uh, well, it's not morning, it's two o'clock. Uh, I've been wandering around the island, island a little bit and uh, having uh, some great shots of the island, hopefully, for you guys to enjoy Utsira and see how it is out here. Beautiful place. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Heli Hansen for supporting me with this awesome jacket. This is the Parka Arctic Ocean jacket, and it's uh, and it's filled with with warm liner in, inside, and it's just great to, for, for me on uh, on my adventures to use. Uh, yesterday I was testing it out, uh, and it was freezing cold, two three uh, Celsius plus, and uh, all I needed was was my T-shirt and my jacket and of course these awesome trousers uh, as well from Heli Hansen. This is, this is the Egir uh, edition. It's, it's um, really strong, padded knees, everything you need. Perfect. So, thank you very much. But now it's time to, to get home and uh, start edit some video, I guess. So, I will see you pretty soon, as usual. Okay, thanks, bye. Another thing I want to show you is that I have been installing something called Victron uh, Sarbo GX and it's just right under the table there. This is the one. And it's uh, connected to my uh, Raymarine chart plotters. And if we go to uh, apps like this, Victron, then you will see the power consumption on the batteries. It's really smart, really nice. And uh, I don't have to pick up my phone every time I want to, to uh, see what the condition of the batteries is, the status. So now it's all on the, on the screen, whenever I need it. Perfect. And it was delivered by maxpower.no here in Norway, Norwegian, uh, Norwegian uh, company, and uh, they're really great. So, so let's head back home safely. See you next time. So that's it, until next time. I'm already started to prepare for my third attempt reaching East Greenland in July. So remember to follow me on Instagram or Facebook and support me on Patreon or PayPal. Get your NBGS merchandise following the links in the video description. Also check out my brand new website at nbgs.no. And at last, leave a comment, a like, and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, Eric.